Hi folks, and uh, thanks for joining me. It's another rainy and active uh, thunderstorm afternoon here in the Carolinas. So I've stepped away from the uh, workbench here so I could record uh, this uh, audio safely for this video. Anyway, we're looking at the uh, schematic for that Gilfillan Brothers uh, Incorporated radio. Again, it applies to Model 30 and 4T, and this is what's been guiding my restoration on the little Peter Pan radio. So for those that have followed, you'd notice the uh, Peter Pan radio that I had, along with some other examples I've seen, had a uh, tone control on the, uh, the back of the chassis itself. And uh, I elected to uh, remove that, and I went with the uh, standard um, uh, call-out here on the schematic for that capacitor, which was a .006. And uh, Gary, thanks again for uh, clarifying that for me. So um, again, with that uh, particular capacitance value, a lot more of the uh, higher frequencies are passing through the speaker, and the response itself of the uh, loudspeaker is uh, a little on the treble side, in my opinion. So I think, uh, again, maybe the factory added that tone control, and it allowed for more of a bass uh, push there on that little 5-inch uh, speaker. Um, but again, I've elected to take it out. So what I want to do though, I want to change the value of that capacitor and I want to increase the value. Uh, so again, I'll create more of a uh, low pass filter. So what I thought I would do is show you guys some examples real quick. We'll look at the oscilloscope. Um, but before we do that, let me let you uh, take a look at some charts that I've uh, actually created. I just uh, did some measurements here on the loudspeaker using my audio signal generator starting at uh, 100 hertz all the way up f through uh, 5000 hertz and again you'll be able to see uh, the frequency response of the uh, loudspeaker itself again with the uh, 0.006 capacitor as well as me placing a 0.01 in parallel with that so again, I'll probably end up going back with a 0 0.01, which uh, should put my frequency response more in the middle of what's uh, depicted here in the upcoming uh, charts and graphs that I'll show. So what I did, again, to recap, I uh, took my, uh, my uh, voltmeter, and again, I was just looking at millivolts, and I was coming off of the um, output transformer. And again, that would be the leads themselves attached to the voice coil. And again, I was using my uh, signal generator on the audio side and uh, generating the signals you can see along the bottom uh, axis uh, from uh, 100 hertz all the way up to uh, 5,000 hertz. And again, you'll see the blue line as indicated was the uh, 0 .006 uh, microfarad cap installed today. And again, you can see that big peak um, right in this area here, and again, that's more of the uh, 25, 2600 um, hertz range. And again, you can also see the uh, crossover point between the uh, two capacitors. Again, when I put the other uh, point um, zero 0.01 capacitor in parallel to create the uh, point zero 0.016 microfarad uh, capacitance value, um, you can see again how those higher frequencies were shunted to ground. And again, it uh, appears or it sounds like you're increasing the bass, but you're actually just reducing um, you know, the amount of the uh, higher frequencies that are passing through. So again, I think if you kind of split the difference here and look at this chart, uh, probably a 0 0.01 would be more in the middle, and I think it would sound a little bit better in this little boxy cabinet with the 5-inch uh, speaker. Again, to me, it just seems uh, like I've got a little too much treble with the uh, .006. So um, anyway, I wanted to share this with you. Let me go on to the uh, next uh, chart here, and you'll see where I just took the difference in the uh, voltage measurements again, since they're in voltage. and. Um, I changed those over into uh, decibels just for uh, the fun of it. Okay, here's the uh, other chart here that I created again in the uh, spreadsheet itself. And again, that's just taking the uh, difference in the voltage measurements. And again, it's taking the uh, log of the difference uh, times 20 since it was a uh, power measurement itself in uh, millivolts. And uh, you can see here I've got the uh, decibel change. 
So uh, fairly significant, and again, this correlates to the other where you can see that crossover point there uh, around uh, 1100 uh, hertz or so. But again, if you just look down in this area here, you'll see uh, the significant amount of attenuation by increasing the uh, capacitance where it really suppresses those uh, higher frequencies in this particular radio again based off of the uh, resistance uh, load itself on the uh, front side of the capacitor that I added. So um, let's look at it real quick on the uh, oscilloscope here before we wrap up and then we'll listen to the uh, radio at the end of the video and um, see if we can uh, capture or you can capture the change between the uh, point 006 and with the uh, point 01 tacked on for a total capacitance of 0 0.016 microfarads. As a follow-up to the chart that we were just looking at, uh, let's look at the uh, O scope here and um, I'll let you guys uh, just look at some things. Again, I was showing there the uh, difference in the chart between the uh, installed 0 0.00 six microfarad cap and then adding another cap in parallel with that to have a total capacitance of 0 0.016 so um, you can see the cutoff points in this example here I'm going to cut the amplitude up here in just a bit but um, I'm going to change everything and we'll go from about a thousand Hertz up to 5,000 Hertz and uh, just keep an eye on the uh, waveform here so uh, let me crank things up just a bit. All right, and the waveform that you're looking at right now, again, we're at a thousand hertz roughly. Let's see if I can let this uh, lock in. All right. So r roughly a thousand hertz. And uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just rock this up to uh, 5,000 hertz and uh, just keep an eye on the amplitude of the signal. And again, kind of our reference line here would be uh, one grid down from the top. Okay, let me uh, go back down to 1,000. Just in that ballpark. Okay, now I'm going to clip on the uh, capacitor. And you'll see again how much it impacts the uh, high frequencies but still lets the, uh, the lower frequencies pass. So again, the cap's clipped on there. You can see very little difference. And of course, that was reflected as well in the uh, chart that we were just looking at. So now watch what happens when I rock this up to uh, about uh, 5,000 hertz. I think that's a great demonstration of the difference in power and the impact, again, the uh, capacitor has to uh, influence those higher frequencies. And we'll pull the cap off for a moment. And you can see the change. And again, you can see where I did the, uh, I took the voltage measurements in millivolts and uh, converted that into decibels so we could understand the, uh, the losses. So folks, uh, hopefully you found that helpful. Again, I'll probably uh, substitute a 0 0.01 microfarad cap in the radio. Um, the 0 0.016 approaching 0 0.02 um, just sounds a little muffled in my mind. And I think a better sound for this particular radio might be around 0 0.01 microfarads again it's uh, subjective but again here you can see the difference that it makes
Okay, before we wrap up the uh, video real quick, let's just do a demonstration here really quick. And again, I'm going to uh, actually show the uh, difference or let you guys listen in on the difference that the uh, capacitor value actually uh, causes. So again, in the radio itself is the 0 .006 microfarad cap. And I have another cap here. When I touch this ground lead here, it will put another 0 .01 in uh, parallel with the uh, circuit. Again, giving us a total capacitance of the uh, 0 0.016 to match what we've been looking at on the oscilloscope as well as in the uh, chart where I converted the power measurements uh, to decibels. So here you go. Again, this will be the uh, more of the treble sound, less bass. Um, and then again, I'll apply the lead down and that will increase the capacitance. And again, it will shunt a lot of the higher frequencies to ground as we just saw on the oscilloscope. One did you know thing that I promised. And here and I am touching. Calls. Did you know that the controversial nickname of Washington's NFL no. franchise? Hey, folks. Again, thanks for uh, watching. I hope you found it uh, informative and helpful. And again, I think it just points out uh, the difference in some of those tone controls and how capacitors are used to, uh, again, shunt some of those higher frequencies and uh, push them off to ground and act as a, a nice filter and uh, it again appears on the surface that you're increasing the bass but again you're just uh, shunning the higher frequencies and allowing more of the uh, lower frequency part of the spectrum to uh, pass through here to the little loudspeaker. I appreciate you guys following along.